This is an overview provided by Bluebird CRM of Act 2010, introducing some of the new features that Sage have built into the product. Act 2009 was very much about improving existing features, the ones that were most frequently used, uh, and improving performance. So things like Outlook integration, lookups and searches, calendars and scheduling. Whereas Act 2010 brings on a whole new interface to the system, making it much more intuitive and easy to use. And I think will support broader adoption across a number of businesses. There's also some quite exciting new features contained in the system now, including interactive email marketing, social networking. So the whole system provides a much deeper level of customer understanding. One of the things about ACT is that we always used to talk about how intuitive and easy to use it was. And of course, when people opened it up and turned it on for the first time, it looked a bit like the flight deck of a Boeing 747 very complicated but there's now a new welcome screen so immediately when you turn it on there are a range of options that you're presented with that I think are quite intuitive and just help you to get started. So immediately you'll notice that the toolbar at the top of the screen is altogether different it's been replaced with a streamlined view including a smaller number of icons on big, easy to use buttons that are very descriptive of the function that they actually perform. Um, you've still got a, a nav bar effectively down the left hand side of the screen so I can go to the contact screen or the group screen etc. And you'll notice that the icons across the top do change in accordance with the screen that I'm on. So whilst I'm now currently working in the group screen, this new button re represents the creation of a new group. The other user interface improvement is that, again, whichever screen view I'm currently in, I get a list down the left-hand side above the navbar area of the most frequently used features in that environment. So if I were to click on the contacts button to go to the contact screen, the most frequently used actions in that area are things like view all contacts in the contact list, write a letter, attach a file, print the screen, etc., etc. So again, very intuitive, and of course this will change depending on which area of the screen I'm in. If I go down to the opportunities view, for example, the most currently used features, export to Excel, print, change some of the column layouts, customize the columns, uh, etc., uh, are all presented to me as very simple and easy to use features. <clears throat> So one of the new features is the provision of social media information. And what this does is use data that you record about a contact as a reference point to search the internet using some of the key social networking and bookmarking sites to draw in information about that contact or company that would hopefully empower you when you're engaging with them. So to do this, all we need to do is go to the web info tab and you'll see already created are links to a variety of different web uh, applications. So immediately uh, the contacts website link is highlighted. So of course all this is doing is looking at the website above and showing the uh, the web page, the home page of that website in the, in the tab below. But I can uh, reference things like, uh, for example, Google Maps. And what that will do is look at the postcode contained within the contact record above and reference that site on Google Maps. Um, if I want to see the thing in full screen, I can increase tab size here uh, and get a greater view of the, uh, the Google Map uh, interface. Or Google Driving Directions will calculate a route from my, uh, my record home address to the client's site so I can work out how far it is, how long it's going to take me to get there, etc. Just decrease that tab size again. Uh, also, I can reference things like uh, LinkedIn or Plaxo or Facebook. So providing I've got an account, I'm logged in as a user into those sites, as soon as I click on that link, it will attempt to find those records within the associated applications. So here I can uh, look at the record for LinkedIn for this contact or Plaxo, same sort of thing. Uh, let's see, are there any Plaxo records there? There isn't one for me. Or Facebook. If I click on Facebook again, it will search Facebook. This is my record in Facebook. So um, instantly and intuitively, just, just mining information out of the internet about that contact or company that hopefully would be useful to you engaging with it. Now, these are some stock ones that are already built in, but you can actually build in further links to draw information from any other internet source. 
One of the most exciting features now is the full integration of email marketing software within ACT. Now, the email marketing software component is, is nothing new. It's provided by a third-party company, SwiftPage. Uh, and in fact, you've been able to use SwiftPage with ACT for a number of years, but it's only now been integrated fully within the product. Uh, it does require you to set up an account with SwiftPage, but it's a, a very low-cost service and extremely powerful. So ACT really does come into its own as a very powerful marketing engine, uh, as well as just something that supports you on a day-to-day -day basis. So what SwiftPage does, or the, the email marketing component within ACT, uh, does is allows you to mass mail uh, newsletters, mass communications by email to clients. But the beauty of it is that when you send out these mass mails, they don't all have to be channeled through your own email systems that could uh, cause technical problems or, or problems with your ISP uh, where, where they don't uh, allow you to send volume mails or, or these days often you've got to be very careful about the way that you treat outbound email if your ISPs think that you're spamming or sending unsolicited mail, often they can sever your connection completely. So the email marketing tool within Act allows you to bypass those technological and spam filtration problems, if you like, and it allows you to group together contacts in lookups or groups and upload those contact email addresses to a email service provider's web server. Uh, which broadcasts the emails. Now, the web server that the emails are ultimately sent from is a whitelisted server that has an established reputation with many of the ISPs and uh, mail uh, spam filter development uh, organizations around the world. So what that means is that when the mails arrive at the recipient's gateway, they're a lot more likely to get delivered through to the inbox. So it's uh, also another way of ensuring that your mail gets through. Um, just to show you very quickly how this would work, uh, I could send an email to a group, a lookup, or an individual contact just by clicking on the Act eMarketing icon. And again, contact, lookup, all contacts, or group, I can channel my mail to whomsoever I wish. And all it asks me to do here is select a template to send. Now, templates could be just very simple textual templates that you can create in this system. Or you can create an HTML template that's more graphical and perhaps professional, a bit more interesting looking with hyperlinks in and graphics, images, etc. And you can upload that template to the system. I'm just selecting one that I created earlier here. And then just pop in the subject line and, and send. So uh, I'm just going to send it to the individual contact. And what it will do is record the details in my history. So pretty much like mail merging in Act previously, but the difference now is that the mails, as mentioned, go from a whitelisted server. I also get full open and click-through tracking on those emails now, by the way. So after the broadcast, I can see who's opened them and if there were links within the body of those email uh, inviting people to click through to my website, perhaps. I can measure um, that interaction. So I know how people have responded to the communications that I'm putting out. If I just flick to my mail client now, hopefully uh, this email is going to drop in and you can see, here we go, this is a fairly straightforward one, but what the system does as well as broadcast the mail, allows you to personalize this by the way if you want to with mail merge fields. It also places a panel at the foot of the email inviting the recipient to opt out. So opt-outs are all automatically handled within the system. Um, so if people do opt out from receiving emails, you don't need to remove them manually from Act. The system just automatically suppresses them and ensures that they're never receiving one of your bulk emails again. So it helps you to be legally compliant. And of course, as I mentioned earlier on within the body of the email, if people click on perhaps a link, uh, a text link or an image link within the body of the mail that then delivers them through to your website perhaps or downloads a PDF, then that link becomes clickable and you can trace that within uh, within the system. You can actually perform lookups and searches in ACT based on how people responded to emails. So let's say you sent out an email newsletter or a marketing mail to a, a, a range of contacts within the system. You might leave it a few days and then perform a lookup within ACT and say, show me a list of all the people who opened the email we sent last week and clicked on one of those links. So just giving you a, a brief highlight of that there, if that's something you're interested in, uh, give us a call and we can talk about it. So Bluebird CRM are a gold certified Swift page partner, so we've been working with those guys for about uh, three or four years now. So please give us a call and we can explain in a little bit more detail how all that